The Pates playing host to Liberty High School, looking to break the Hurricanes' undefeated streak and break out to their own longest win streak of the year after two consecutive victories last week. A point-for-point -point start ties the first set 8-8, but a three-point run capped by a kill from Sierra Powell, hands Freedom an 11-8 lead. The Pates hold on to the lead as Sarah Kikolas hits a kill off the hands of the Liberty blockers for a 17-13 lead. But the Hurricanes aren't ready to go down without a fight as Laura Flint launches an ace, part of a seven-point serving run, to capture a 21-17 lead. Liberty up 25-24 with the two squads battling late in the set as Melina Sable catches the Pates off guard with a kill for a 26-24 first set victory. The Hurricanes picking up the momentum in the second set as Hannah D'Angelo notches a deep kill for an 11-6 lead. Liberty keeps rolling as Shauna Beattie shuts down the Pates offense for a block, assisted by Angelica Santana. The Hurricanes now leading by seven points late in the set. And Bailey Corrigan launches a back row attack, slamming the door for the 25-14 second set victory. Another back and forth start in the third, but Corrigan finds the hardwood with an off-speed kill to help Liberty break out to an 18-14 lead. Gianna Sierra comes diving in for the dig, and Hannah Pitt pushes the ball deep for a kill of her own to extend the 22-18 lead. And Sable puts it away with the middle attack for the 25-18 set victory, securing the Hurricanes' three-set sweep. A lot of times you want to hit the ball and hit it as hard as you can, but I think the biggest thing that really helped me was just like hitting those short spots and kind of off-speed shots at different spots on the court because they weren't expecting it as much. Tonight's victory kicks off what will be a very busy week for the Hurricanes. Coach Swigert's group is focused on being intentional with every game and practice rep as the team gears up for back-to-back -back matches, one against Allentown Central Catholic and the last against the defending EPC champs of Parkland High School. Yeah, it's something we haven't had to do, so it's trying to manage um, rest when we can and just trying to make sure we're mentally ready for it because I think by the end of it, it's just can we physically and mentally do the things that we want to do when we're maybe tired and doing stuff. But yeah, I mean, playing three great opponents is always a struggle, but I mean, it's it's only going to test us and make us better. Yeah, it's great to be a cross-town rival, and um, we're really excited for this week. We have a big week ahead of us, and um, we've been working hard all season, especially for this week. This is one of our biggest weeks during the season, and um, we're really excited. On the scene, I'm Sierra Jones for the Service Electric Network.